Hey guys, good evening everyone. It's uh, March 31st, 2022, and you are with Miss JD for another episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. And in this video, I will be discussing first the requests that you guys shared in the comment section of my last video. So I will prioritize those. And probably if we have um, enough time, I will also try to check out some of the highly traded stocks today. Okay, so if this is uh, the type of video you want to watch every single day because you're starting your journey in the stock market, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are always updated whenever I have new videos. Okay, so let us first talk about the index. Um, for today's performance, we managed to increase by 0.51% and we have uh, 221.5 million on foreign buying. So that's good because our foreign investors are already uh, gaining confidence in investing in our market. So let's see if this rally will continue in the coming days. Uh, take note, tomorrow is a Friday and Friday is always it's not always, but most of the time, it is a profit-taking day. Let us see if we are approaching a possible resistance or not. I'm using a Bollinger Band and an RSI over here as my main indicators. Uh, of course, apart from the candlesticks, volume, price action that I am also closely monitoring. And the scope of my discussion is really on the technical side most, most of the time. Now, here you will right away see that we managed to already go above the MA20 line, which is good, but let's start to dissect and identify the next possible resistance. Okay, at the moment, looking at the daily chart, I see a possible resistance right at this level. And it's an area, guys. So even if I plot a straight line over here, it doesn't always follow that it will stop at the exact line where I plotted it. It could be a little higher or lower. Now, that's the daily chart. Why did I plot a, a possible resistance at that level? Because if I go a little bit higher and start looking to the left, you will see some areas or some patterns in the past. One, um, back in uh, January of uh, 2022, you had a support formed at this area. And because we had a breakdown in the price as we go higher, uh, that support could act as a resistance. So let's try to also zoom out a little bit looking at the weekly chart. So we are right on a weekly chart where, you know, you managed to reduce the noise in the candlesticks. Um, we have plotted it. In fact, right at the MA20 line, which I've been mentioning this, MA20 can act as a resistance uh, once we go we go up, coming from a you know a movement below MA20 line, and once we start recovering, your MA20 could first act as a uh, possible resistance. Okay, so let's see if we manage to go beyond that line, then chances are continuation will happen but just know that we are approaching a possible resistance at the moment so for the first stock that you guys have requested this one came from john lawrence uh he wants to know mbt and gt cap oh by the way i received an email from uh, col financial today that uh i will be receiving a dividend because i am also in mbt i think this is it this is the one or I have already received. <laughs> yep. So this is the amount, so which is really good. Uh, this is already the second year whereby we really have received a significant uh, amount for our dividend. But year on year, the stock is giving out dividend. Now we are, um, we have just, I can already say that this is already a breakout of uh, the downtrend. I mean, uh, the uh, breakout of um, the MA20 line because MA20 is normally acting as a resistance. So I think there will be a continuation right there. Um, just use your MA20 line at the moment. So we, when we drop, I think it's just an acceptable retracement level, you know, um, because we don't uh, move 
in a linear uh, pattern where it's just a straight line. No, that's not the case. There are ups and downs in the market, and those pullbacks would be your, especially when the fundamentals of the company is good, those retracements will be your opportunity to buy more. And the stock, this company, gave us that opportunity. So my question is, were you able to add more? Because I think the next action here is a continuation to the upside. So if there will be a fluctuations uh, tomorrow, take advantage of that. Anywhere from 54.5 to 57, that's a, an okay level. Next is GTCAP. GTCAP. Okay, this is really moving sideways as of the moment on a weekly chart, right? So that's your sideways and we're at the support level. Uh, and if you, I, I am going to do that on a daily chart, so maybe, okay, so on a daily chart, we already crossed that MA20 line. So if it is going to pull back, let's say by tomorrow there's profit taking, chances are it will just go to this level <clears throat> here. So that's um, our nearest support. Because I, I did the weekly over here, but the nearest support I saw was at this level. Okay, but uh, again, on a daily chart, you can, uh, if you want to be a momentum trader or if you want to do intraday trades uh, from a weekly chart, your weekly chart will tell you the overall direction of a stock. Is it uptrend, sideways, or downtrend? And then if you know that it's already in an uptrend zoom into a daily chart because it will help you uh, determine the perfect timing you could even haggle for a few pesos or cents because of a daily chart coming from a weekly chart you go to daily and then you go um, hourly and then if you do scalping then of course your time frame becomes faster and faster so that is for gt cap um let us see if it is going to continue but if uh, there will be fluctuations, 524.92 would be the nearest support. Uh, where could be the next resistance? Actually, it's very near. Here's your MA20 line. So that is your uh, possible resistance. Okay, so that's for GT cap. Next is PHA. PHA is still moving sideways. So I think this is something we need to closely monitor. At the moment, while it's moving sideways, another thing to consider is the constricted Bollinger Band. So when a stock normally goes sideways with not much volume, it is just going to constrict and constrict what happened here. Same thing that happened here. The, the Bollinger Band became very, very constricted. And the, the trigger happened, in fact, on this day, you had a huge volume, comparing it to the previous days. Of course, is, this is a huge volume already. And then we started triggering the uh, upper Bollinger Band. See what happens next. A, um, a rally to the upside. So that is something we will also monitor. Here, it somehow did, but it did not sustain. So maybe we could have something like this. Let it constrict. Doesn't matter. But um, just know that in the coming weeks, uh, we'll still experience very, very minimal movements. Okay, so anywhere from 0.48 to 0.54, that's the movement I'm seeing right now. M wide. M wide. Hmm. Let's see if this is giving us this kind of lower lows. Yeah. So this is your lower low, okay? Each time we uh, recover, it's not sustained. Each time it goes up, it's lower than the previous high. So it's lower high. It's a lower low, I mean. So it's lower high. Also, when it drops, it is creating a lower low. So chances are we will just be moving within this range. And um, at the moment, I can still say that this is based on the channel i'm seeing it is still in a downtrend 
So if it is going to drop, for instance, and does a double bottom, I think it will create a double bottom somewhere at, uh, let me see, here, 491, 491 level. So if it drops, it goes back here, and then all of a sudden there's a green engulfing candlestick with some nice volume. That's when you enter. For now, I, I see a possible, you know, the red days either tomorrow and in the coming days. Okay, um, what about nickel? This one is from um, Benjamin Tudoro. He also has a channel of his own. Okay, so um, on a daily chart for nickel, today we had some uh, selling uh, dominance in the market. And there's also a scheduled dividend for this. So 0 0.05 plus 0 0.17, that is a 0.22. Yeah, 0.22. What is 0.22 of 7.84? Okay, because if um, we get 10% of 7.84, that's 0 0.78, and we're only getting 0.22. So 3, 4% around that. Okay. Now, uh, at the moment, looking at the chart, we have created a lower high. This is the highest point. We dropped, we recovered, but the recovery is really temporary and short. Uh, now we have some lower highs. So if this gets rejected at the MA20 line, be prepared. Chances are it will really go back to the 720 or it will go back to that to create the double bottom and then start reversing or it will continue to break and eventually create a downward movement or a downtrend channel. So for now, I won't plot the downtrend channel, rather I plot it nearest, nearest our support, which is 727. Uh, all HC, all HC, okay. I hope you were able to take profit, at least for the position traders out there. This is giving us some weakness, guys. So chances are it will go back to some key areas and bounce right there. So let's try to measure and anticipate the next possible area of bounce. How do we do that? Try to locate the lowest point over here, drag it all the way up to the highest point, and then from there, you dissect and identify the key areas that if it bounces, where will it drop? It could potentially drop around 496, somewhere in this level, 4.81, 4.70. I think the last haggle you have here would be uh, 4.70. I don't like the 4.58 because it has it will be crossing the MA20 line already. Okay, so that is for all HC, Emperador. Emperador next. Okay, be careful, guys. We got rejected at the MA20 line for Emperador. A uh, really uh, noticeable drop today uh, at 2.5% decline. So don't expect any recovery immediately. Uh, Friday could be a continuation of a downtrend. So uh, catch it very near. Catch it very near our support, which is 1321. Okay. All right, so 1321, the next support. I don't know if this is going to take a day or two or even uh, weeks to, to reach that level, but support is 1321. Okay, to continue, let's go and check out Vito. Hmm, Vito. For Dito, we managed to cross, okay, the MA20 line. But <laughs> nearby at the area where we ended today is also a possible resistance. So there are so many resistance and support areas in this uh, daily chart of Dito. So let's try to expand it really to get a much better view. Oh, so yeah. We have just landed at a resistance area. 
around the 540, 550 level uh, for Dito. So, and there isn't much volume, although there's 8 million on foreign uh, buying. Um, even though there's 8 million in foreign buying, there's not much volume. Uh, chances are it will still go back to the 5 peso level. So that's my take on it. It's This stock is taking its sweet time to recover. Sige lang, that's okay guys. Um, my, my view here for Dito is really good for long-term investing. Okay, so expect for your stock to uh, gain noticeable amounts come probably three to five years so that's my uh conservative expectation okay so there you have it guys i think for now those are the stocks um that i'll be uh, uh monitoring or those are the stocks that i have reviewed uh this evening feel free to uh, add more on our list uh by dropping your comments on this video in the meantime thank you for watching and bye bye